I think that's a outstanding description. You know, there was nothing flashy about today's effort. Uh, you know, there weren't you know highlight level plays all over, but the, the guys just gave consistent effort for 40 minutes. Played very well on defense, and our offense really got rolling in the second half. I mean, it, you can see the difference in the 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 reduction of mental mistakes. You know, that's what I notice is when we can go deeper into our bench and get quality minutes from our players off the bench, our starters make fewer mental mistakes. And that is so valuable. I mean, whether it's a two minute, three minute rest and having guys come in and give you quality minutes, that, that makes a big difference in the production of your starters. And, you know, obviously if the, the bench plays well, it's a huge shot in the arm for the team. So um, it was nice to have Chip and Joe back and, you know, um, Hopefully no one else gets sick before we go on this next road trip. For us, you know, it's all about finding a rhythm. Once we find a rhythm and we don't feel like we have to score on the first or second pass every time, then we're really dangerous. And that's what we'll keep preaching to our team. Um, we have, you know, guys that are very skilled individually, but they don't have to do it themselves. They just let the, let the offense create some shots. It's a little bit more difficult to guard, and, and that's what we've done the last two second halves is really find a nice rhythm on, on the offensive end, and then when you're getting stops, you can get out in transition and do the things that we're good at. You know what wasn't? Um, we mixed in, we, we've, we saw some things on tape we thought we could take advantage of, so we probably ran some offense that we don't usually run early in the games. And so, uh, you know, we got off to a little bit better start with Kendale and Alec finding a rhythm early, and, you know, that makes a, a big difference for us. But it, it wasn't something we preached about, but it was nice not to be down 8, 10, or 13 like we had been really the last three games. So um, that, it's nice to play from ahead. You can rotate more guys in. If, if players make mistakes, you don't have to get you know, too worked up about it. You give them a little, more, a little longer leash. So that was, that was all good today. Yeah, we just took good shots. You know, I mean, we started the game taking good shots. Then we had a long stretch in the middle of the first half where we, we weren't taking very good shots and we mixed in a few turnovers. And then probably the last six, seven minutes of the first half, we were just patient. We moved the ball, we, we exposed some of their weaknesses, and then we're hitting rhythm shots. And again, you know, I'll keep preaching that to our team of, you just have to make sure we get a good shot in every possession because we have so many different guys that can score. We don't have to force. I think that, that is the, the theme when you keep coming back to is, that there's no reason for us to make tough plays until it's late in the shot clock. We have the ability, we have weapons, so why make a difficult play or take a difficult shot early in the shot clock. Just get the ball moving and let the talent play and hopefully, you know, hopefully we learn that lesson this week. I'd rather not hit the road again, but uh, yes, we, we played well. Uh, got, you know, if, if we lost any confidence, which I don't think we did, uh, we definitely have that back. And now we got to go, you know, all the way to Kansas City and play a good Rockers team. So uh, we'll, we'll have to be ready, but you know what, uh, I'm going to let the guys worry about that on Monday and I'll worry about it tomorrow.